I want nothing more than to take a vacation that's not in New York, but this is 2020 and this has been determined to be the year that we get absolutely nothing that we want. So in an attempt to inject some novelty into my life, I think I'm gonna take you on a trip to my grocery store about three blocks away today and we're gonna check out what kind of new produce they have in stock. They have some strange things I've never cooked with before, some strange things that I want to cook with, I've never had the guts to buy or just never thought about it. But today we're gonna think about it. No better time to go grocery shopping than with a tropical storm on the way, am I right? I'm back, and we've got some jackfruit. It looks beautiful and freaky. It's got spiky boys on the outside. It's got these nice little big seeds that almost look like almonds on the inside. Two of these weighed about 10 pounds. This was not budget friendly at all. These babies cost me almost $24 total. So let's hope it's tasty, huh? They're so heavy I could use them as weights. You know, do a little shoulder lift. Smells a little bit like cucumber and pineapple had a baby. The flesh feels very salty. These seeds are humongous. I'm willing to bet they're not edible. I will research that before putting it in my mouth. But I feel like this fruit should be edible. It's almost like it's got fibers. It comes off in these like little strips. It's got a nice tender, mildly crunchy texture. Very creamy, very sweet. It's like if you took a cantaloupe banana, a pineapple, a cucumber, and mashed it together, and you place yourself into a calming tropical forest. Dear Google, are jackfruit seeds edible? Jackfruit seeds are not only edible, but also highly nutritious. They have been associated with a number of health benefits, including improved digestion and cholesterol levels. Well, that said, they may hinder nutrient absorption if eaten raw, as well as increase the risk of bleeding in people taking certain medications. Okay. Perfectly edible, the seeds are best boiled or roasted, which brings out their subtle sweetness, often compared to chestnuts, though they're blander than chestnuts and actually taste more like lotus root seed. Let's cook those seeds. The jackfruit is a multiple fruit, composed of hundreds to thousands of individual flowers, and the fleshy petals of the unripe fruit are eaten. The ripe fruit is sweet, depending on variety, and is more often used for desserts. The core is perfectly edible, and you won't even notice it once it's cooked with your other ingredients. Wow. There are so many uses for this fruit. So there are three basic parts that we can eat here. We have the fruit, we have the tendrils, and we have the seeds. So here's what I'm thinking. We trim the jackfruit down into its edible parts. We separate out the seeds. We start boiling the seeds for consumption. For the tendrils, we'll have to make some sort of a pulled meat dish. Meat. This is truly one of the stickiest fruits I've ever dealt with. One thing that I'm not clear about is how much of this rind I should be cutting away. Like when does the fruit become edible? For now I'm gonna cut away the core because I haven't seen anyone really cook with it. The core is perfectly edible. So I'm gonna assume it's not edible. If I cut just the bare minimum spiky boys away, I am left with this very interesting pattern. Taste review. The fruit, delicious. These little ligament tendrils, chewy, bouncy, very fibrous, but still kind of tender, very flavorless. It just has some sweet juices that's coming from the fruit that it's neighboring, but on its own, I can't really say. Tastes like latex. And then we have this rind piece that I chopped off. I'm not sure if I can use it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and taste it. Why not? For science. Hmm. 
Mmm. Mmm. Okay, it's actually quite pleasant. The texture isn't bad either. As you can see, I'm eating it. It reminds me of a less watery zucchini when you eat zucchini raw. All right, let's cook. The fruit is delicious on its own. I don't even think I'm gonna do anything with it besides just keep shoveling it into my mouth. And finally, the compost pile. You are going right back into the ground. For these seeds, we're just gonna put them in boiling water with a little bit of salt and let them go for about 20 to 30 minutes until they're nice and tender and then we'll peel them and eat them. Oh my gosh, they're slippery, but tender. They really do feel like chestnuts like really sturdy, starchy potatoes. If you've ever had Japanese sweet potatoes, these remind me of them. Super firm, super dense, super mealy but creamy. I think because of how starchy these are, you can use them almost exactly like how you would use potatoes or beans. That's what they feel like to me. Definitely don't eat this. This feels very plasticky. If you use it like a bean, I'd imagine you can make some kick-ass hummus out of this too. Spice it up however you like because the taste is very bland, but so dense and creamy, it has great potential. If I made a video where I lived on only jackfruit for a week, would you guys watch it? I mean, it's delicious. Guys, it's very exciting. Aaron's finally awake. I'm gonna ask him how he thinks that jackfruit fruit tastes. Have you ever had jackfruit before? No. What if this kills me? Then we will die together. How romantic. No, we won't. You're not eating it. Mm, it has the texture of papaya, I think. Mm. And um, it tastes very pleasant. Pleasant? Yeah, it's a, it's a mildly sweet. Um, this definitely has tropical notes. It sort of tastes like a tropical soda. You like it? I do. We have so much jackfruit. Why don't we just make two dishes? I found some gochujang and I found some homemade pork broth and I think we can make a gochujang pulled pork to put into some tortillas that I found in my fridge. I have four raggy tortillas that expired in May, but you know what? Probably still good. Probably. We're just gonna go into the pan with some oil. I'm gonna use the fat from my broth. We're gonna go in with onions, garlic, and then we're going to go in with the jackfruit. We're gonna add broth as needed to keep it nice and syrupy. We'll add a little bit of gochujang to taste and just cook on the fly. Found some black beans in my fridge. Those were gonna go in. So it's tender, but the tendrils are still a little bit crunchy. I'm gonna move it off to the back burner and let it keep going. We're gonna work on our broccoli beef. If we're gonna be using jackfruit as a meat substitute, would it work for beef and broccoli? For the beef and broccoli, I'm just gonna very quickly follow my own recipe that is available on delish.com. So Julia will have the link up for you some, somewhere here. We're gonna throw half of our jackfruit tendons into a bowl with marinade. Marinade has some zest of lime, lime juice, sesame oil, brown sugar, ginger, garlic, scallions, soy sauce, black pepper, and let it soak for about 10 minutes or so. And then we're gonna drain it. We're gonna toss it in some cornstarch very quickly and into a hot skillet with a little bit of oil. We're going to sear it until it turns golden. We throw the jackfruit back in and we let it cook until everything is nice and tender.
Here are the four things that we got out of our jackfruit today. We got the delicious, juicy fruit. We have a uh, jackfruit and broccoli stir fry. We have some sweet and spicy gochujang jackfruit tacos. And we have some boiled seed snacks. First up, our beef and broccoli. Our jackfruit and broccoli. Whoa, I dig it. All the flavors and condiments that we use are traditional beef and broccoli flavor profiles. That texture of the jackfruit is pretty tender. I love it. I think because there are so many little limbs, it's just all trapping the flavors. You must like chewing if you're going to cook this part of the jackfruit because it is quite, quite fibrous. You know when you get a really long piece of bok choy and you can't quite sink your teeth into it to cut it, so you just keep chewing, but at some point you're tired and you don't want to chew anymore and you just decide to swallow it? It's kind of like that. When you get a bite with broccoli and jackfruit together, they work really well. That kind of fartiness in the broccoli turns into a really nice nuttiness when contrasted with that slightly sweet, sweet jackfruit flavor. For me, this dish gets an eight. I feel like if you're not a fan of the texture, it might be as low as a five or six, but for me, I'm all about the texture in my food. So crunch away, eight. Do you want a bite? Do you want a bite with broccoli and the jackfruit? Uh, that, whatever looks, is on your fork right now looks good. I recommend with the broccoli. Okay, that's a fun chew. Right? That's a workout. I know that you <laughs> don't like chewing on bok choy, so how do you feel about this one? Mm. I feel like I took too big a bite. <laughs> Next up, tacos. Would I believe you if you told me this was pork? Probably not. Oh, there's jackfruit stuck in my teeth. If you have big gaps between your teeth like I do, there's gonna be a problem. The flavor is nice, a little bit spicy, a little bit of sweet, a little bit of salty, very like candied feeling. But the texture of the jackfruit, I feel like maybe if I used more fat, maybe if I put some butter in here, it would have given it that porky flavor profile. Even though I use pork broth, it just doesn't seem to really shine through and read as pork. So there's that. It kind of looks like pork. Pork usually falls apart and it's quite tender. This on the other hand, maybe I could pressure cook it. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I just don't know. Am I a fan of this? I'm not quite sure. I feel like there are other meat substitutes that I would like more, but again, I feel like I threw out a crucial part of the fruit. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys cook the core or the part of the flesh that's right underneath that skin exterior. Because I feel like I could have used that. Hashtag regrets. You wanna eat tacos? I'll try. Maybe I should have chopped this up a little bit more, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> The whole taco came out with it. Do you like it? The taste is good, yeah. The taste is good. Like the texture is a little bit rough. Yeah. I love how versatile it is. I love that you get the sweet fruit part, and I love that you get this earthy, nutty, starchy seed out of it. And then you can make stringy meat substitute dishes with these. Definitely give it a try. Did I rate the tacos? I'm gonna give a taco a seven. All parts of the fruit. I'm a fan. I hope that you enjoyed eating this delicious fruit with me today and cooking with me today. And I want you to tell me what other ingredient I should seek out for the next time I decide to take a trip to my faraway grocery store three blocks away. See you next time.